Grade 10, this is the first lesson in your fourth quarter. It's chromosomes. We are going to explain the chromosomes and meiosis. This is chapter 6. We're going to start with chapter 6, section 1. Chapter 6, section 1, we're introducing the idea of chromosomes. Remember when we said that the chromosomes are present inside the nucleus and they carry their genetic material. So the chromosomes are technically your software. Whatever is written in your chromosomes is going to be transmitted all over your cells. The chromosomes, they make sure that, for example, if you lose a hair, you get a hair in, uh, in, in place. If you lose a nail, you get a nail in place. If you lose skin, you get skin in place. Because they are carrying all your software and they make sure it is copied the right way. We have two types of cells. We have two types of cells in our bodies. First of all, we have the somatic cells. The somatic cells are also called the body cells. They are all of your body tissues and all of your organs, your spleen, your kidneys, your eyeballs. All of these are somatic cells. And then we have the gametes. The gametes are the sex cells. The sex cells are only present within uh, the ova in females and in the sperms in males. So we have two types of cells in our body, the somatic cells that cover all over your, uh, all over your body and the sex cells that are present within your gametes. The main difference between the somatic and the sex cells is that the somatic cells, they have a full number of chromosomes. So for example, if I take a sample from you now and I want to test it under the microscope, I'm going to find 46 chromosomes. But if I take a sample from one of the sex cells, if I take an ovum or a sperm, it is only going to contain half the number of chromosomes. This is why we say that the somatic cells have diploid number, double diploid number of chromosomes because they have doubled the number of chromosomes that's present in the gametes or the sex cells and the sex cells they have haploid number of chromosomes haploid means that they have half the number of chromosomes why do we have half the number of chromosomes within the gametes because when the gametes are going to when the ovum is going to meet the sperm they are going to reach the full number of chromosomes so now I have my somatic cells, it contains 46 chromosomes, but the sex cells, they only contain 23 because each of these sex cells should meet a sex cell from the other type and then they make up an, a, an organism. By doing this, they reach the full number of chromosomes. Each one of your traits is represented See here, the diploid number of chromosomes, these are present within all of your cells. The haploid number of chromosomes are only present within your gametes. Here, the chromosomes, they are always presented within your cells as homologous chromosomes. Why do we have, what does homologous chromosome mean? Homologous chromosomes, they are two chromosomes, one inherited from the mother, and one inherited from the father, they have the same length, they have the same shape, they have the same appearance, and they mostly do the same thing. For example, your skin color is determined by a chromosome from your mom and a chromosome from your dad. Your hair color, your uh, eyes color, your height, each and every one of these is represented by two homologous chromosomes. They are homologous because they are similar. Okay, so these similar chromosomes, each of them, they carry the trait from one of your parents and then the net result is the color or the shape that you see on you. And the chromosomes that are present inside the cells, they are called autosomes. And then we have the rest, the sex chromosomes, they are separate. What does this mean? So, as I said, if we count, for, as, uh, for us human, we have 46 chromosomes. Of these 46 chromosomes, we have 44 autosomes. What do these autosomes do? They, represents all, they represent all of our body functions, shapes, 
and everything. They determine your cholesterol level, your, they determine your skin color, they determine your hair texture, everything. They determine even your blood sugar level. And then we have two chromosomes that determine sex. So we have 44 autosomes that, that represent every single function in your body, and then two sex chromosomes that represent your sex. For females, they have 44 autosomes and two X chromosomes. For males, they have 44 autosomes and one X and y, one Y chromosome. We all have 46 chromosomes, except 46 chromosomes, of which 44 are autosomes and then two are sex chromosomes. They represent your sex. Okay, we're going to talk now about the haploid and the diploid cells remember the haploid cells mean that they have half the number of chromosomes and the diploid cells means that they have double the number of chromosomes all of the cells in your body they contain haploid uh, diploid cells except for your sex cells which are the ova in uh, females and the sperms in males they contain half the number of chromosomes they are haploid cells these haploid cells during fertilization, which means that the ovum, if the ovum is going to meet the sperm, they are going to lead to the formation of a full human with a full number of chromosomes. So diploid cells are represented all over your body, haploid cells only in your gametes. And through fertilization, during reproduction, they are going to lead to the formation of a full number of chromosomes. This is, these are all the information you need to know for this section of the chapter. The rest will be in the following session. Thank you very much. Great thing.